the people of Oja community in Akokoe, the local government area of Edo State, are predominantly farmers. But on this day, members of the community decided to abandon their farms in order to protest against incessant violent attacks by headsmen. First, they take their case to the palace of their traditional ruler, who in turn further expresses the confusion and frustration of the members of the community. We don't want Fulani as men again. We want the government to help us because when we voted for change, this is not what we need. We're not going to go farm again. No. If Fulani say you're not going to take her and see us again. I leave Kaduna because of Fulani riot. I'm in my village again. I would be afraid. Please, I beg. Government will take care of these people. We don't need them again. At all. The constitution did not permit such a person to kill the person he goes to live with. The constitution did not also specify that the properties of such person you go to uh, sojourn in his land, you should convert them. And these are the things that the Fulanis are doing that are making my people to start crying for help. Having laid their complaints at the palace, they went ahead to pay a solidarity visit to one of their own, Mr. Jerome Obayemi, who is battling for his life after being attacked allegedly by Fulani herdsmen on the 4th of January 2018. Mr. Obayemi lost an arm in the attack and narrates his ordeal. So I don't check the, the trial finish. So I was about to go and car collect my machine so that make a go meet her. I just see five people appear. I start to pursue me. If I go move like two times, they don't cut me for the right side. When I come the wrong, I got come the le cut to the left side too. So I jump the first one, second to the third one, I can't fall. As I fall down, I take side, I look, I see, see, cut last day up. No cut my neck, and I come straight to my hand. Cut this sand with this uh, head. The feather showed their determination to get justice and also forestall a recurrence. Representatives of the community take their case to the police and the authorities of their local government council. They are right in state CID Benin now. They've been arrested. I want the people of Oja who have been law abiding citizens. Are you hearing me? Leave justice for government to carry out. Don't do don't go to the violent uh, way. For now, the people of Oja community have been given the assurance that justice will be served. But more importantly, incidents of this nature must never happen again.